Twas the month before Christmas and all through the house, every creature was stirring, maybe even a mouse. The stockings were about to be hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that Santa Paws soon would be there. The pupsters were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of busy bones danced in their heads. And me in my jammies and Pa in his cap. <laughs> We'd just resigned our brains that there would be no nap. When from the other room there arose such a clatter, there were 26 boxes of Christmas that still needed to be scattered. Away to the basement I flew like a flash, lugged up the boxes, and sorted the stash. Before the moon rose and before the next snow, we gave luster midday and gave Frosty a chapeau. When what to my wandering eyes did appear, a number of Santas and maybe even some reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it was time to decorate for Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, this year wasn't the same. We've cursed it and shouted and shunned it by name. Now cheer, now joy, now take a chance with new fixins. On tables and mantles, now honor traditions. To the top of the stairs and the top of the walls, let's dash away, dash away. It's time to deck the halls. Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. In case you didn't get it from our poem at the beginning, we are decorating for Christmas. We have a lot of Christmas around here, but as you can kind of see from our background, we still have fall up. So the first order of business is to take down all of the fall decor, and then I have to lug up all of our Christmas decor. And that's a chore. <laughs> It's gonna be a really fun day around here. This is something that I do every year. Um, typically I do it on Black Friday, but this year it's 2020 and we're gonna do it a little bit early. Christmas is a really big deal around here. We decorate and go all out for Christmas. I love decorating for the holidays and I love having Christmas in every corner of our house. So that's what I do. We have a number of new things this year. We have our lovely tried and true traditions that we're gonna put up. We just have a lot to do. And without further ado, we better just just get started. We have two of them here that say Mary and one says bright and if you watched our fall decorate video you know I have one that says fall as well and these are so simple to make so these letters are pre-cut letters that I found at Hobby Lobby they also have them at Michaels and then I just got some thick Christmas ribbon I used a drill to drill a hole wherever it needs to be connected it has a hole so two holes for every one of them except the T and I took Mod Podge and some loose glitter and I Mod Podge the whole thing and then I dumped glitter all over it and let it dry and then I put the ribbon through it and made like a, see this is one piece of ribbon here and then tied it on the back. It's so simple and I love these so much. I wanna make more but I have to figure out, one I have to figure out where I would put them and two I have to figure out what they would say but love them so cute so simple to make yourself and they look really great so here is a tapestry that my mom made she made it a few years back and i hang it up in this spot every year and i have this wooden christmas tree that i put it says merry christmas and i'm going to put it right there with some lights around the base and then some candles and i think some pre-lit christmas trees those will be really cute One of my 
favorite spots to decorate. This is where I put my nativity scene. I have this beautiful crush. This is our, I love this buffet. It's just such a centerpiece. So there's our front door there. So you walk in, you see the chairs, but you walk in and then you can see how it's decorated. And it's a little bit more muted, but I just love decorating it. And so that's what we're going to do right now. Disney figurines that we get every year and our stocking holders We've got the fab five with their tree the train with little Chippendale Mickey and Minnie caroling it looks like they're caroling I think they're caroling in their little sled in their little I think it's a truck and then they're decorating the tree so we have the mantle done and we are about ready to move on to this wall if you remember from our fall decorating video this is one of my favorite walls to decorate I just love it and we usually do like a mixture of snowmen and Santa Clauses so let's see what we've got this year Time to tackle the kitchen. So in the kitchen, we've got a few different things. We've got a few Santas and snowmen. We also have an advent calendar for the dogs that my mom made that goes over there. And a couple little snowmen over here. And I also got something to hang from up there, from the curtain rod. So let's get to starting. kitchen pretty simple when it comes to decorating because it is the most functional room in the house so we have two runners these are really cute they say moose lodge and they're the plaid we have Santa with his coffee and then we always have a candle this one's about done so we'll grab a new one here soon we have another runner and then our Disney Christmas countdown we have our these are only decorational we don't use these but little hand towels I like this one my mom got us this one it's so cute and then a few little things up above the sink here our I just want to bake and watch Christmas movies Santa Baker and a couple snowmen and finally, over here, we have the advent calendar, but we keep that over here so that the girls can each get a little treat every day for their little advent calendar. So we don't have the tree up yet, but everything else in this room is done. I'm about to start on the trees in just a minute, but I wanted to show you everything that has been done today. So I started around 10 o'clock this morning, and I think I've done pretty well. <laughs> So this is the room we spend the most time in. This is our TV room or our family room. And we've got our Mickey and Minnie there, which that's where that tree's gonna go. 
And then here we have a couple snowmans. Our mantle has the garland. And then I know I showed these earlier, but it was difficult to see because of the light. So now that it's dark, you can properly see everything. And like I said, we get one of these every year. And we will be getting another one this year on our trip in just a couple of weeks. And then I have our awesome lantern in the back there. That's from our wedding. And we have an adorable Eeyore, Christmas Eeyore, with Mickey and Minnie trimming the tree. And I love these hedgehog pillows. I think they're so adorable. And then each end table has a little runner that has Santa and some reindeer. This back wall is different than I've ever done it in the past. I've never put garland on the wall before. I think it looks cute. I love the festiveness. I wish we had a way, I wish I had some battery operated garland that I could put on there so that there was light back here, but all of our garland is plug in, so that doesn't work. And I love this little moose, he's new this year. I've never decorated this little corner before. I think it looks really cute. I love these trees. I got them at Hobby Lobby. In fact, everything over here is from Hobby Lobby. This is such a small bathroom, but you've got to keep it festive. So we've got some cinnamon scented pine cones, a couple snowmen, a little Noel sign. We also have the seven dwarfs, a little reindeer, our Christmas hand towel, and our Noel sign. This is actually Aspen and Chesney's stocking. We thought it would be super cute to get them a little Chippendale stocking. So they have this and we can't put it in front of the fireplace because it gets too hot. So we just hang it on this little notch over here. This was what I told you guys I was so excited about and it's finally finished. Every year we take the dogs to get a picture with Santa and we display it. And we've actually found out that we're going to be able to do that again this year. Bass Pro Shop is doing a Santa photo and we're able to take the dogs to do that, which will be really awesome. This sign is one that my mom and I each made one of these. We saw them online for like a hundred and some dollars and we decided we could make that, so we did. And it says North Pole bed and breakfast, sleigh rides, hot cocoa, and warm cookies. Here we have our nativity scene. Simple, but I love this crash and I love this nativity. We got this adorable mailbox type thing. It's made of it's a it's made of wood. And we got it for our wedding. And I decorate it every year and I put these really cute little birds on it and then they're also at the bottom. We have our tree bags in here, so it's kind of difficult to show you this, but I'll show you again at the very end. This was something, this was one of the first things I did this morning with our merry and bright tree, the tapestry that my mom made, and then we've got our snow with a couple snowmen and our lighted trees. So this is the other room where we will have a Christmas tree, but we haven't put it up quite yet. You'll see that happen either tonight or tomorrow morning, but I have our little table set up here our pillows on the little love seat back there and then our farmer santa table there isn't a lot of natural light back here because this room is so tall and there's no light in the room so i put some fairy lights around the flowers here and then on the shelves we have santa a merry christmas sign and another santa and then we have our mailbox that lights up and it actually goes up and down, which is really cool with a little reindeer bucket. And so far that it was quite a few hours of work today, but we're not done yet. We still have to put up the Christmas trees. So my goal is to get at least one of the Christmas trees up tonight and then probably get the big one, which goes in the formal living room at the front of the house done tomorrow. But I would love to get the Disney Christmas tree up tonight, which is the one that we have up in our main living room, our main living space. And so I wanna get started on that right now. This 
our sentimental tree. So this has all of our Disney ornaments. It also has all of our ornaments that we get every single year. We get an ornament for Bryce and myself, Aspen and Chesney, and we get our names on them and the year. We also have some family ornaments on here. So this is our special tree and we love it so much. And then of course, it wouldn't be complete without the Mickey Santa hat. So this is the part where I come in every year. This is our big tree that goes in our formal living room. This is like the tree that we decorate together. This is the tree we bought together and it's what we call our fancy Christmas tree. Here we go, we're gonna decorate it. And for you, it'll be just like a snap. And there it is, there is our Christmas tree. And as you can tell, it is the next morning because last night when we got done decorating, it was really late, we were tired. So we just went to bed. So let me go get a little better angle here and I will show you how we decorate this tree. We can't ever get anything to stay on the top of our tree, so we don't have a tree topper. But this is just something we keep kind of simple with silver, gold, bronze, white Christmas decorations. As you can see, we just, like I said, keep it pretty simple. Then we got a few little Disney touches, of course, because we had to do that. But yeah, this is our fancy tree. That's this is literally what we call it. It's got some red snowflakes. And then a new thing this year, Crystal added this dog. The lights do not like my exposure right now, but there he is. We got a little wicker dog. So he's looking up at our tree, but yeah. There is our formal living room Christmas tree. Hope you all enjoy it as much as we do. Well, that's it. That is our entire house decked out for the holidays. We had so much fun doing this. This is one of my favorite things to do all year. I look forward to it, and I'm just so excited to have all of this Christmas cheer surrounding us this holiday season. I know that it's been a challenging year, but we are so blessed and thankful to have our Disney community with us. I'm so glad that you followed along on our decorating video. We would love to hear all about what you you guys have done for the holidays if you went all out for the holidays or if you just did a little something any way you celebrate the holidays is the perfect way for you that's gonna do it for this video and we cannot wait to be back with another video for you guys soon so make sure that if you're not already you click that subscribe button click that like button if you like what we're doing and that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we release a video thank you guys again for stopping by happy holidays from our family to yours for the love of the mouse never forget that it all started with a mouse.